What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Tario. So today, you know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to sound like King Carson. All right, you know what I'm saying? I understand. I understand. Y'all like, yo, why you, why you want to sound like him? Just want to experiment a little, some, some. But before we get into it, y'all be sure to get y'all merch in the comments and description below. Yes, man, this Atlanta boy merch. Yes, sir. So for life, y'all want to listen to the album stream on any major platform. It doesn't matter what you have. Nigga, if you have Discord, we're going to have our music there. If you have Pandora, we're going to have our music there. If you have Apple Music, we're going to have our music. We're going to have it everywhere. Even places that don't make sense why we have it there, but we're going to have it there, okay? And... <laughs> Shout out to my boy Gunner or Gunner, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't fully know how to say the name. I, I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna get it though, bro. Shout out to you. But let's get into the video. So the word on the street is that you want to sound like Mr. Kenneth D. Carson. Shut I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I've been doing a lot of these zoom ins recently. <laughs> Oh god, I'm a zoomer. You're in luck, my friend. That's what mm. we're gonna be talking about today, okay? Typically, you would want to go on YouTube and search up Ken Carson type beat, but for this one, we just got one of his beats. <laughs> now here's the beat. Hey, yo. Hey, point blank, you want a very digital beat, okay? Mm. A lot of his songs, if you're unaware, are on these very digital, fast sounding beats that are around like 150 BPM, 160, you know, very fast. I think yeah. one reason why Ken Carson has a really cool sound is because, once again, that fast flow with that fast beat, it just creates a super energetic song that anybody can fuck with. Now, we just talked about his fast flow, but one thing I'd like to add on to that is that it's very sloppy, okay? And I mean this in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> super pause on that, but you know what I mean? The way I yes. would describe his sure. flow is right. just kind of like. Right. What? <laughs> I feel like it would just be like meat falling out of something. I don't know. So let's say you got your lyrics down and all that shit. Uh, next up is really just record. So I recorded my raw vocals here. That's what it sounds like. After that, you just want to add some ad libs that are pretty basic. His ad libs really aren't anything crazy. So I kind of just went with this. After that, you're obviously going to have to mix your vocals, and that part is pretty tricky. But if you guys want to use the preset that I'm using, I'm going to link it down in the description mm -hmm. for you guys at lowgunner.com. It's completely Shout stock, by the way. If you guys are using FL, Pro Tools, or anything like that, this will be able to work for you. So first things first, you want to start with your autotune. Now, I'm using Autotune Artist on this one, but you can use Pitcher or whatever autotune you choose to have or mm. use. <laughs> so I put the input type as low male because yeah. uh, he has a kind of a lower voice, you know? The he key does. of the beat is G sharp minor, so make sure you change the key to whatever the key of the beat is. After mm -hmm. that, it's pretty fucking simple. I put the retune speed to zero, so that means that shit is cranking and we have a really fast auto-tune so this will make our voice sound crazy auto-tune like travis scott auto-tune type shit uh after that i added a limiter which is a noise gate that yep. takes out all the background noise for yep. you summarize what the eqs are doing they're pretty much boosting all the good frequencies making mm -hmm. it sound all good but then also taking down all those bad frequencies to make sure they're sounding really good and then we add a compressor our sound goodizer our mm -hmm. delay and our reverb and we got this I'm boy talented, bro. It <laughs> really My doesn't get easier than that. It's pretty much just drag and drop. I'll show you guys how to do it. It's ridiculously easy. So let's say we wanted to add it to track 10. We just right click on it, go to file, open mixer track state, and just click yeah. on it and my boom. world <laughs> that's yeah. it you have that mix also comes with an ad lib preset as well so if you guys do want the ad lib this is what it sounds like <laughs> yeah, the most important thing and, uh, is obviously the flow, uh, uh, the whole kind of cadence of it, right? Mm. If you want to sound like Ken Carson, you're going to have to actually try and sound like him. But obviously the mix has a very huge part in that because if we take off the mix, it just sounds like some guy who is singing in his bedroom or <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> but yeah, it takes you from <laughs> sounding like uh, you're making music in your bedroom to making music in a studio, no matter where you are. Yeah, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do another video on it. Hey, man, look, FL Studios Look, bro, people sleep on FL Studios, but you can make good music on any doll. Any doll you can make good music, honestly. But be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to my boy Gunner, a gun -er. Yeah. 
Uh, shout out to King Carson. Like his music, by the way. Um, and just y'all be sure to listen to Atlanta Boy. Like, bro, please listen to Atlanta Boy. I really want you to listen to Atlanta Boy, bro, and let me know what you think. I made all the beats. I I did everything myself. No outside help. I wrote the lyrics all my. I did everything by myself. But yeah, peace. Ariel the poet.